Hello, my peeps. Tracy here to tell you about our next upcoming class, the Happy Forest Friends. This sweet is adorable. Um, I'm going to show you this up in person, so I don't know why I'm trying to show you the pictures. Um, <laughs> I thought this was tomorrow, the 28th. It turns out it's today. So I'm just going to extend the RSVP date, and because I need some confirmation, um, there was a date change. This was originally on the 18th. But I had to change it to the 11th because something else was scheduled for the 18th. So, when you come to the Leisure Center, this is what you're going to find. Ta-da! Isn't that pretty? Um, it's just really nice. It's just really nice pattern paper and a piece of ribbon. But this is what's going to be sitting at your seat. And in it is everything you need to make five cards and three gift bags. Uh, let me do this a different way. So this is what you're going to find, right? And each person is going to have one of these. So you have your own set of embellishments. And you have the pieces you need to make the project. I have the ribbon in separately. I don't like to cut the ribbon up ahead of time because it just ends up in the knot. <laughs> it's like Christmas lights. So this one, I just simply split the paper. And in this case, I would probably split the paper this way given where the two bears are. But it's random how they get cut. So there's the stuff to make that one. in here because I'm, I have things on the opposite sides. If, if I do it that way, I'm never going to be organized. Um, there's the stuff to make this adorable bag. So one of the rules of Stampin' Up! is when you're getting kits and packages and stuff together, you cannot include pre-stamped images. So you'll notice that these ones, these adorable animals, are stamped. So I have cut the trees and I've cut the tag for you, but I haven't stamped on the tag and I haven't stamped on this piece of paper for the barrel. This, uh, you'll notice the DSP is a little bit longer because it's folded over. And you have the option, I'll show you on the next one. You can decide if you like to keep it flat across the bottom or you want to put a point in it. This is the third bag. And you can do a little stamping on there. you got to stamp this tree before you cut it and stamp the fox. Um, I didn't actually have enough of this paper, so I switched it up to this one, which I think is way cooler, quite honestly. Um, so those are the three gift bags, and so you kind of get an idea how how your package sorts out. Inside the rest of these, and I'm not going to pull every one of these out, um, there is a little bag here, because there's these teeny tiny bow ties and some teeny tiny leaves. Um, you'll notice the leaves are, some of them look like they're white. Get that focus, there we go. It's because I put sticker paper on the back. So the adhesive sheets make them into a sticker, so it just makes it that much easier. Because these are super tiny, I just put them in a little bag and I stuck them in this first card. And you'll see, um, when we go through, um, I'll show you the first one though, just to give, just so you get the idea. Okay, so this is the first package. You don't need that. There's, there's actually four pieces of pattern paper in there. Because I like this, I like this one with the, the coral color in it. Um, and as you know, all our paper is two-sided, so you can pick and choose how you want it. Um, and I originally had... The four pieces but then when I made my card which is this card and I put this label on it which I like um, it covered the fourth piece but I thought I'm gonna still give you four because if you decide to turn your label sideways or mix up the order or you want it to be the, the red instead of sort of more multi monotone here um, don't worry about the corner of the card that rascal was just tasting it because that's super helpful so you'll notice in this one you've got the there's a piece of white paper on the inside that's here. There's your card base. There's some things to choose from. I've pre-cut out your two trees because these ones aren't stamped. They're just cut. And I've got your base or your label for you to stamp on. Right? So that's what you're going to do. Now, the easiest way when you do a kit like this is to come in. I think the easiest way. Come in. Open your stuff. Get, a, get the lay of the land. <laughs> figure out what's what. And then... Decide if you're, if you're going to make it exactly the same way or change up anything you want to change up. Because you can change up whatever you want. You're basically working with... Um, here, let's see. Just a minute. Just a minute. <laughs> I'm just going to move some of these things out of the way again. Okay, so this is your little kit. So that you're basically working with these pieces, is what you're working with, um, to make the cards. And you can mix and match. You can choose to cut the paper or not cut the paper or turn the thing. Um, I'll show you in a minute the extras that I will have. So here you have all the stuff to make these cards. <laughs> to 
made this one. <laughs> like you go into a party like, hey, with this bow tie. I actually gave you a black bow tie and one of the coral colored bow ties. Because they both looked really cute and I couldn't decide if you would go into like a black tie party or if you would go into a more fun party. Um, but I wanted to give you one that wasn't solid paper like the other ones or as much paper. So those are the five cards. So you will have five card bases, five sets of envelopes, sets of envelopes, five <laughs> envelopes, and all the bits and pieces you need to make these cards and the three bags. Okay, so you have all of this stuff. You got the entire pack of embellishments. And then what I bring is basically any leftover DSP. And there's, I don't know, not quite, there's just over a package, but some of the sheets or patterns are completely used up and some there's more left of than others. <laughs> So I'll have extra paper there. Um, I like to die cut and stuff, so there's some extra labels um, and some extra little. Oops, open the wrong one just a second. It's a great kit. Doesn't fall apart on me. Also doesn't open for me. I hurry yourself. So yeah, I mean I might have some extra bits and pieces cut. Um, I have some different colored labels. Um, I will bring the packet, the container I have of white labels. So if you choose to put a different sentiment on it, you can. Uh, there's the ribbons that go with it, plus I'll have some twine. What did I do with the stamp set? There it is. Um, this is the stamp set that comes with it, and the dies. So if you want to include that in your class, um, I put my dies on a little magnet sheet inside. It comes in a separate envelope. Who knew how to come? Um, but this is the set. It's an awesome set. And look at all these dies. There's leaves. They're, these are the birch leaves that I use. There's some oak ones. There's some um, acorns, some stumps. It, it, it's, the set is awesome. So you'll notice in here we have happier than happy, uh, hello baby, welcome and thanks. So those are the sentiments that come with this set. Um, and then I have two more stamp sets that have, so you can have a happy birthday. I can't remember what else was in those. Um, plus one of the other stamp sets just had a cool set of trees. So for this one, I wanted to stamp trees on the envelopes. And these trees, it's upside down, seem to go with these ones. So, so that's what I'll have. I'll have some extra stuff in the room. You have your package. So basically, we go through and say, okay, you know, here's what you need to do. Uh, make sure you do this before this. Um, this is simply this. And then basically, we sit around, talk, have snacks, and you guys put your cards together. And if you have any questions, you ask me. <laughs> so that's how it works. So <clears throat> I do have a couple seats left. I already made all the packages. I would love it if I could fill all the seats. Um, if you had previously RSVP'd for the other date, or some people couldn't make the original date but wanted to come, let me know. Um, I've had a few people RSVP to the new date. So it's the 11th of September. It's from 1 to 4 at the Leisure Center, which is five minutes from my house, right on the main highway coming into town. And this is what we're going to make. $30 gets you all of the stuff you need to make the cards. That gets you the, this. <laughs> and then whatever little extras you need. I got the stamp and inks and everything like that. Um, and if you want to also get the bundle, which again, what did I do with the bundle? There we go. I think this bundle is worth... I don't know, $67 or something. So really good deal if you get the bundle, you get the class for 75 because you're mostly just paying for the bundle and a little bit extra for some paper. So that's what we have going. I'm going to post the poster. I put the original poster, I, I noticed on Facebook, I had, I posted the wrong one when I posted it. That was the original one. Um, this is accurate. The original, the, uh, the other poster I posted said Christmas cards. These are not Christmas cards. Although I guess you could just not put labels on them yet and when I have Christmas stamps out you can put Christmas sentiments on them but I mean they definitely work for thanks for babies for birthdays for anybody in forestry who just loves these cute little critters um I seriously this waving bear hey folks uh, <laughs> absolutely love it so there you go uh, a couple socks left would love to have a full room uh, more than anything I would just love to chat with all you guys again uh, these afternoons <clears throat> excuse me these afternoons um, have turned out to be quite fun. Uh, we're doing it at the Leisure Center, so there's less stuff. It's less overwhelming. There's not 80 things to pick through. And um, it just, yeah, it makes it easier just to kind of hang out and chat. And uh, in the end, you end up with some good cards so you can share the love. And we end up with having a pleasant afternoon. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to put a little uh, link on the, on the Facebook post when I put it up there. So you can instant message right straight from the, from the post. Otherwise, you guys know my email and my phone number. Um, however you want to get a hold of me, feel free to get a hold of me. Okay? Thanks, guys. I hope to see you. And, uh, yeah, please, RSVP by tomorrow because I have to order a few things to um, finish up the class and the kits. And I don't want to 
I don't want to risk the dreaded supply chain, which is getting better, but still has its moments. All right. Thanks, everyone. Have a great night.